Welcome to my sixth lesson on logarithms. We're going to finish up our last two examples. Here's example five. There are several ways to solve this problem, but by far the easiest way is to apply the power rule right away. Let's pull the power two out in front of the log. Now we see the twos on both sides. So let's divide both sides by two. That gives us log of x squared minus 3x equals 1. The log definition tells us that x squared minus 3x equals the common log base 10 to the first power. What should we do next? The simplest way is to subtract 10 from both sides to make the right side 0 and hope the left side factors nicely. Well, it does. We get x minus 5 times x plus 2 equals 0. For a product to be 0, at least one of the factors has to be 0. We get either x is 5 or x is negative 2. It's always a good idea to check our answers. So let's do that. Plug in the 5, we get log of 25 minus 3 times 5 squared. That's log of 10 squared. We do get 2. Perfect. Plug in the negative 2. We get log of 4 plus 6 squared. Same result. Yay, that shows we did the problem correctly. Let's see what example 6 teaches us. By now, I bet this looks pretty easy to you. A sum of logs? That's right. We apply the product rule. That gives us log of x times x minus 6, and that has to equal to 1. Applying the definition of logs, we get x times x minus 6 equals the base 7 to the first, or 7. To solve for x, multiply everything out and make one side 0. We get x squared minus 6x equals 7. x squared minus 6x minus 7 equals 0. And that factors nicely into x minus 7 times x plus 1. Same thing for a product to be 0. At least one of the factors must be 0. We find that x is 7 or x is negative 1. All done? Nope. Miss Jane is trying to prove a point. We have to remember to check our answers. Substitute 7 in for x. We get log base 7 of 7, that's 1, plus log of 1. Log of 1 is always 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. The 7 works. How about x equal to negative 1? Because the log of a negative number is undefined, negative 1 does not satisfy the equation. So we find that the number 7 is the only solution. Okay, we're done with this algebra topic. I hope the log is your friend now. Bye.